Well, here we are again, guys and gals, at the Curtis Flea Market. Legs not feeling too, too bad today, so I thought I'd travel in and see what's going on. It's a cool Saturday morning, about 35 degrees, rain. So nice for an indoor tour. Good, how are you? Good. Not a lot going on just yet? Not yet, huh? Just come out of the oven and stuff. Depends what you're looking for. Quite alright, quite alright. I can come back. Yeah. I often don't know until I see it in the counter. <laughs> but, uh... Apple fritters are out. Oh, I'd take an apple fritter. You want an apple fritter? Then? Yeah, if you have one. It'd be great. Some delicious baked goods here. I forget how much they are. Three dollars and fifty cents, honey. There we are. Thank you. What's that you got there? Breakfast smoothie? Uh, I think so, yeah. Oh, nice. Thank you, ma'am. No problem. Have a good day. Yeah, you as well. Thank you. Yeah, you too. Hello. How are you today? Good, how are you? Good, good, thanks. We got all manner of uh, stabber here for yeah, I got some, uh, zombie. Oh yeah, some really good zombie apocalypse uh, apocalypse stabbers. Let me see if I can get a little zoom shot of this. That hatchet there for Mad Shad. How much are on those hatchets? Just 85. 85? Okay, thank you ever so much. Wow, that one beside it is a pistol sword. Very cool. That is sorted out any of your zombies. Thank you, sir. You have a fine day. We got a smoked meat booth here. Pepperonis and pepperettes and everything else you can imagine. Hello. But where I'm headed. I'm headed over this way. My military guy's over this way. Sometimes he's in the other building, but we'll see if he's over here this time. We've got a nice little booth here with some antiques in it. Let me see if I can unzoom this a little bit. You guys and gals can see what's going on. Look at down here, the old fishing floats, fishing net floats, little lunchbox, Lone Ranger. E.T. Needle stuff in the cabinet here. All manner of knickknacks and there's old milk bottles here and Miller High Life neon sign. There's an old train light over there in the corner. Pretty tall price on it though. 300 bucks I think. They want for that. They're not giving stuff away here. It's hardly flea, flea market prices. Good morning. How are you today? Good, thanks. Good. Wow. Look at all this stack of old dough bowls. Very cool. A lot of nice old dough bowls you got yeah, there. Few, right? Yeah, buttes. Where do you collect your stuff out of? Uh, that, hot, that stuff actually comes, those dough bowls, I get them from Europe. We get them shipped in. We just haven't been able to get them for a couple years. I oh, is got, that right? Just got those in I know. Uh, last week ago Friday. I knew a fella, he was getting them out of oh, Quebec, I guess, yeah. for, for a number of years, but that's decade, <laughs> decades ago. Yeah, so. Not, they're, they're, but there's been nothing coming, like no shipments or anything, right? So. Well, 
Either that or everything's stuck in the harbor or whatever, right? That's what I need. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. All kinds of neat stuff, though, Thank guys you. and gals. Thank you. Not at all. A little signage. Oh, BB guns. Yeah. Oh, pulley wheels and skis and all men are a goodie. Old church windows you can refit with mirrors in them or however you like, fit them into a screen door or whatever you like. Yeah, let's move on. Let's go see if my military guys are around. Right? Good, eh? How are you today? Not too bad. Good, good. What do we got going on here? I don't have my right glasses on. Can you read the price on that for me? Maybe let me know what the size is. Yeah, they change them up all the time, so. Yeah, I gotta connect you this thing to Sydney. Yeah. It says size 10, but I'm not sure. Hey, May. Yeah. What's the price on the boots? 35. Size 10, 35. Size 10, 35. The boots are 35, so 35, okay. Um, hmm. I'm needing like a nine and a half wide in this kind of boot. In if you, boot. Yeah. Yeah, not those, uh, these older style. Like these ones are, that's the old style, but these are in near mint condition. But they've got the really, really hard sole on them. The leather's not as nice. They're not as durable. Do you have any more in that style over there yet? One nine and a half? Yeah, nine and a half if you have it. <clears throat> Looks like there's maybe a... Hmm. Those ones look pretty big here. Yeah, they're big ones, so we don't have nine and a half. Your booth isn't open across the other building? We just moved over here in here a couple months already. Oh, you, you just came in here and in here only? Yeah, no, we put together one booth. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because we have two. Come up with my size. Fifteen. Uh, yeah, I don't think those are quite big enough, but... Uh, you don't want to try that one? You can try them on sometime if the size it didn't make different. Well, they're not for me, you well, see. Oh, uh, not for you. No. See, I get my boots from you guys already anyways. Yeah. And uh, I take a different size. I'm, I'm looking at some for my brother. Oh, I see. Yeah. See, it depends if you want the whole socks to go inside the boots. Well, that's true, too, you know, yeah. That'll, that'll add on. To he often feet. does uh, double up uh, on his socks. But... Uh, I know I was, I was mighty impressed when I got mine from the, from the military. I still have them. <laughs> well, well, they make a great boot. This is... This is my uh, everyday wear, and I have a, a pretty much brand new backup set. Oh, these, these are mine, but they're like, they're like a shoe. Right. Is he bigger than you or smaller? Bigger. This is my the, These are a seven, seven, and a half? seven and a half wide, these are. Eight, and he needs a nine and a half wide. Hmm. So, that's kind of what I came looking for here today. I could get him some brass knuckles instead, I guess, but uh, yeah, plastic knuckles. I don't. Uh, but I don't think they'd fit on his feet. Oh yeah, nice. <laughs> wow, there's a shocker. Yeah, that's that's what I thought when I first seen him. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Well, I'll keep checking back with you guys and. Yeah. I'm in once a month or so, yeah, and I see what bombs. see what you got. Uh, I don't know how they'd ship across the border. 
Well, I see a set over there. We didn't check those for size. Let's see over for, further on the other side. The ones that are bent over? Yeah. I can't get it. Yeah, they look bigger. Oh. Whoops. What, what, what about that set right there? Sorry about that. No problem. You're talking to the jungle boot. It's a sand big. What's the inside say? Size? This one we check it, but we don't know what size. Oh, this one 11. All right, yeah, that's These are 10. That's too so big 12, too. So 12. That's too big too. Baby feet. <laughs> big enough to fit the shoe. All right, well, I'll have to check back again. Yeah. Appreciate you guys looking for me. No problem. Thank you. Yeah. Have a nice day. You too. I will. Thank you. What about a vest? Huh? What about a vest? No, they won't fit on his feet. On a suit. Hey? You said he won't fit on a what? On my brother's feet. I'm looking for boots for my brother. And I don't think he could carry boots in the in the pockets of those. Actually he could. You think? Well maybe. There's a large there's a large pack of... Yeah, well if I don't have boots, he doesn't need a vest to carry them in. Well it depends if you you gotta you gotta cross a river. <laughs> I suppose. Best way to keep your boots is to the water. I suppose. You have yourself a fine day. All right. You can get the uh, all kinds of decent outerwear here. Winter gear. There's a nice, uh, nice rain poncho there. All kinds of other clothing. They don't have much of their stuff out. They got. They usually have two booths, one outside and one inside the other building, and because uh, they reduced it down to one, they don't have quite as much stuff out. But let's go over here and see what this gentleman's got going on. Usually a mixed mash of stuff. Nothing super special. German helmets, Canadian helmets, mother old military gear. All manner of stuff. For the discerning buyer, take a little wander up. Up the aisle here, see what else this building has to offer. All manner of things you can think of. Your handmade uh, Kitchen towels and those kinds of things. Got a kitchen over there for those who want to have a hamburger or some breakfast. The leather dealer up that way. If you need a leather belt, I'm gonna have to go see him. The last belt I bought here, I got it at a, at a booth outside in the summertime and it stinks. I paid five bucks for it and it turns out it's not leather, so I'll have to go back and see that guy. Yeah, definitely me. Hello. Hi, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, just fine, thanks. Hey lady, how you doing? Just fine, thank you. Yeah. 
Hey. Good day, how you doing? Good. Well, I think I'm gonna shut this down and head for the next building. I may make a film for you guys over there as well. We'll just see.